Hi friends, this is Ila. Welcome to Happy Nursing. Today we will discuss about Abdullah's 21 nursing problems theory. Faya Abdullah was the first nurse and the first woman to serve as a deputy surgeon general. She changed the focus of nursing from disease centered to patient centered. Abdullah's theory proposed 10 steps to identify the patient's problem and 11 nursing skills to develop a treatment plan and 21 nursing problems. Today we will have a look into those 10 steps and 11 nursing skills. So the 10 steps to identify the patient's problem are as follows. First one is learn to know the patient. The better we know our patient, the better we will be able to identify his problem. When a patient comes to a hospital, our first step is taking history. Why do we do that? To know the patient, whether he has any health condition, any hereditary problem, what are the problems he is facing right now, any medical history, any surgical history, occupational history, allergies, we take a whole lot of data. Objective is to know about the patient. Next is sort out relevant and significant data. Just in the previous point, I told about different categories of data we take from the patient. Now we have to sort the relevant data from that which helps us to understand the cause of the patient's present problem, relate to his, to his presenting signs and symptoms. For example, a farmer has come with the symptoms of excess salivation and gastric cramps, but he is not aware of what has happened to him. His family members are describing like sister he was fine, suddenly he is like this. So then as soon as we take his occupational history, we can make out that it's possible organ of phosphorus poisoning, that is poisoning from pesticide. Next is make generalizations about available data in relation to similar nursing problems presented by other patients. Now we have to generalize the data to ease our job. We will look into the other patients files who are coming with the same problem. Generally, the line of care will be the same in most of the cases. Then identify the therapeutic plan. We have to prepare a plan according to which we will give him care. Then test generalizations with the patient and make additional generalizations. Now it's time to test the line of care which we decided after looking into other patients similar problem. If we find something special in this patient, then we have to add new measures. Like many patients come with a headache and most of them get aspirin. But one patient has come with headache and he is also allergic to aspirin. So we have to think of something else. We cannot give him aspirin. Then validate the patient's conclusions about his nursing problems. After identifying the problem, we must validate the same with the patient's statement. We have to ask him whether we are right or not. Because many a times it happens that patients are not able to explain their problems clearly. And we have to assume. So if that assumption is wrong, then the care will also not be proper. Continue to observe and evaluate the patient over a period of time to identify any attitudes and clues affecting his or her behavior. When the treatment is going on, the patient should be under continuous observation to identify whether his problem is reducing or not. Explore the patient and his or her family's reactions to the therapeutic plan and involve them in the plan. We also have to understand the patient's family's attitude towards the treatment process. Because sometimes it happens that patient or his family may not agree with the healthcare team members and they can become aggressive later. They can even disagree with the treatment or it can even cause medical legal issues. So we have to involve the patient and his family in the treatment plan. Inform them about what we are going to do and what effect it will have on him. After that we have to evaluate their reactions. Identify how the nurses feel about the patient's nursing problems. A nurse should always feel for the patient, otherwise her care will not be complete. So a nurse should identify her own feelings towards the patient's problem. How she is feeling, what idea she is having about solving the problem, etc. Then discuss and develop a comprehensive nursing care plan. We obviously need a care plan to give proper care to the patient. We have to discuss the data available with us within our interdisciplinary team and prepare the plan of care. So we are done with the 10 nursing steps. To recapitulate once again, the steps to identify the patient's problem are learn to know the patient, sort out relevant and significant data, make generalizations about available data in relation to similar nursing problems presented by other patients, identify the therapeutic plan, taste generalizations with the patient and make additional generalizations. Validate the patient's conclusions about his nursing problems. Continue to observe and evaluate the patient over a period of time to identify any attitudes and clues affecting his or her behavior. Explore the patient and his or her family's reactions to the therapeutic plan and involve them in the plan. 
identify how the nurses feel about the patient's nursing problems discuss and develop a comprehensive nursing care plan now abdullah also suggested 11 nursing skills to develop a treatment plan let's see what are they first one is observation of health status we have to observe the patient's health how is he what symptoms are he presenting etc then skills of communication communicating is very important because that is the way we will collect the data about the patient's health from him and his family right next is application of knowledge we have to apply our knowledge what we have learned in our practice then teaching of patients and families health teaching is a very important step in the treatment plan the patient and family must have a proper insight about the reason of his symptoms then planning and organization of work to start treatment it's obviously needed to plan and organize it in a proper way next is use of resource material besides using our knowledge we should also study the facts from other resources available like journals other patients case files etc use of personal resources we have to borrow the knowledge and ideas from our seniors and other persons because they are more experienced than us problem solving if there is a possibility of any problem we have to solve it beforehand otherwise it may be a bigger one in the future which will be difficult to solve after the treatment is started for example if the treatment is such that it will cause severe side effects to the patient then we need to have a plan for that beforehand then direction of work to others distribution of jobs to the respective healthcare team members is important so that it doesn't create confusion later then therapeutic uses of the self a nurse can do many things perform procedures administer medicines assist the patient in daily living activities give health teaching provide basic care um, what else uh, giving moral support to the patient counseling the patient it will go on and on but the nurse should use her skill according to patient's priority one who is suffering from respiratory distress cannot be given health teaching right first oxygen is to be administered to him then comes investigations if needed then he should be assessed whether he is okay or not then if he is worried about something that should be dealt with then comes health teaching that will be the therapeutic use nursing procedure all kinds of treatment in the world involves some nursing procedures so a nurse should be skilled in the nursing procedures involved in a treatment course so these were the 11 skills needed in a nurse to develop a treatment plan once again summarizing the skills observation of health status skills of communication application of knowledge teaching of patients and families planning and organization of work use of resource materials use of personal resources problem solving direction of work to others therapeutic uses of the self and nursing procedure i hope this much is clear to you in our next video we will discuss about the 21 nursing problems given by fire abdullah if you find my videos useful then like and share my